Hey, do you want to set up your Mac for modern web development? Well, you're in the right place. In this tutorial series, we'll set up, install, config the applications needed to start developing on your Mac. Some of the things we'll be doing, installing Mac OS command line tools, Installing applications through Homebrew, a CLI tool for installing and managing your applications. Setting up a code editor, VS Code, with extensions. Installing NVM, Node, and Node Package Manager. Configuring your Z shell and the terminal. Getting your SSH key set up. Connecting Git to your GitHub. And taking a look at Figma. Okay, let's get started. So I just completed installing and setting up a fresh version of Mac OS. Now let's take a look at the version here. We're running Catalina 10.15.7. So this should be the latest version at this time as I'm filming. Now in this tutorial series, we'll be taking a look at Mac OS Catalina, setting up our web development stuff from fresh install, but a lot of the stuff will be transferable. If you already have a, a Catalina installed, then it should be okay. But it, it works better if you have a fresh install, just in case there's no conflicts between installing uh, other softwares at different times. And it should be okay with some older versions of Mac OS, like if you're running Mojave or uh, High Sierra. I'm not going to say it's 100% backwards compatible, but it should be okay. The biggest caveat is that it's using Z shell now as the default shell versus bash. I'll show you how to install that if you're running an older version of Mac OS. So I wanted to go over a couple of things uh, before we start installing and setting up some stuff, just some of the default settings in Mac OS. Let's do there. In Finder, there's a couple of things that they used to have that they don't, they kind of take away by default, and it's these kind of status bars here. So now we're able to check out what the status is, how much is available, and our kind of path to where we are in the directory. Those two things I wanted to turn on. Uh, let's go over to settings here. In general, I want to, they've introduced a dark mode. I think they introduced that in Mojave, but I want to turn that into dark mode now. Okay, so let's see here. Uh, Looks like it's switched over here. Let's take a look. Switch to dynamic, I guess, or I'll set that up to that. Now we're in kind of a dark mode now. Uh, I want to fix this dock here. Now I want to make it a lot smaller and make the magnification. But before I do that, I want to get rid of all these uh, icons here. So I'll quickly do that and I'll fast forward this part. I removed all that. Now things I want to change in the dock is I want to make it a lot tinier magnification when I go over, switch it from genie to scale effect, hide my recent, so I want this to be gone, and automatically hide. Okay, so that's a lot cleaner now. Empty out my trash bin. Okay, that covers that. Now I want to open up terminal. You can go to that through, and it's within utilities and terminal here, or you can do command space and type terminal. And here, I want to take a look at the keyboard here. So right now, as it is, as I'm typing, if I do just hold down a key, it's kind of slow. Now, if I go and speed up these things, now it's now it's lightning fast. So in case in case something happens. So my delete key will be a lot quicker. A couple other things I want to get rid of are these. I guess I could keep this, but uh, the option's there if you want to remove it. And sharing computer. In sharing, you can rename your computer name. So I'm going to just name it Kowichu Desktop. 
and that should be fine. Let's make sure it's switched. And what else do I want to do? And I want to go into Finder. And I wanted to go into Preferences here. And just add a couple of sidebar stuff. So I want there some of this stuff. That's so it's defaulted and hide these. Okay, and move this one to the top. Just so it's there. And maybe do a command C and show my computer. So those are kind of the, the couple things I want to do and fix uh, some of the defaults for the Mac OS. Did all that. In the next video, we'll start setting up our and in installing uh, applications. So I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed the content so far. If you have any questions or feedback, please leave a comment down below. To stay updated with the latest content from the channel, you can subscribe by clicking right here in the middle.